Hey everybody, it's Mr. Renner. Welcome back to school. Um, today we are going to be finishing up the story Storm Chasers from last week. Um, but first, let's uh, take a look back and see what we talked about last week, okay? So this was the story Storm Chasers. I don't know if you remember from last Friday when we were watching this, but Joel and Patrick were about to go to a baseball game, but the game was canceled because the weather was starting to get really bad. Um, and their dad and mom showed up in this van. This van has all sorts of equipment in it. You can see some of it on top. And the equipment is used for chasing down storms, measuring them and taking video of them and taking pictures of them and just finding information about it. And as because this tornado is pretty dangerous, it's very, very dangerous. The dad went off to take pictures of all of this by himself and the mom and the two boys went into a cellar of a friend of theirs um so that was what we talked about last week i don't know if you remember that this week we're going to be finishing up the story um but first i wanted to go over a couple of things uh, one of the strategies we're talking about is why is this somebody's job <laughs> why are people out there chasing down storms and getting paid for it and we're going to find out about that later on, but I wanted to point this out to you on page 263. That red area are all of the states that have so many tornadoes, and these tornadoes are dangerous. They can destroy houses, destroy towns, and if you wanted to know, Minnesota is that little green part right up there. So we're not right in the worst part of it, but we do get tornadoes. We're pretty close to the worst part of it. Um, and because tornadoes are so dangerous, we need to know a lot about them so that we can get out of the way before anybody gets hurt. And that might be somebody else's job. As we continue on with the story, we're going to be figuring out what is important in this story. What are the details in the story that are important for these people's job? And what is just interesting? Remember, their job is to track down storms. We're gonna find out why really soon, but what details of the story are important for tracking down storms and what details from the story are just kind of interesting and help the story, but aren't as important to the main idea. Okay, we're gonna start on page 263. This is a typo here. So get your source book out and turn to page 263. Okay, when we last left the story. He was driving off to go take pictures and get information on that tornado. They were going into the cellar here. Good luck, mom called. Patrick was the first into the cellar. All he could hear was the roar of the wind. He was scared. Don't worry, said his mother. We'll be fine down here. But what about dad? asked Joel. Mom smiled. Your father knows what he's doing. He'll be back soon with some great video. After a few minutes, Patrick took a piece of bubble gum from his pocket and blew a big bubble. He wasn't scared anymore. Now he was just bored. Joel played a game with his blue baseball cap. He threw it up toward the ceiling. Then he tried to catch it on his head. Can we go now, he asked finally. So it turns out that where they are, it must not have been all that close to the tornado. I mean, you could see it, but they weren't in any danger at all. Mom opened the cellar door and she looked outside. All's clear, she said. They climbed out of the cellar, just as Dad pulled it in next to the farmhouse. I got it, Dad said in an excited voice. They all piled into the back of the van to watch the video. The van was full of equipment used to track and record storms. Dad even had a special two-way radio in the van. That way, he could talk to other storm chasers while he was on the road. Look, you could see the shape of the tornado, said Dad, pointing to the tornado on his monitor, and here he is right here. I already emailed this to the local news station. The national news may use it tonight too. So this right here, that's a pretty big clue right there about what their job is. You know, why do they have to go taste storms? Oh, it might be for a news station, maybe to warn people that they could see, hey, there's a tornado, get out of the way, or maybe just because it's news. That evening, the boys watched the local news. The tornado was the big story. They're showing dad's video again, said Joel. Patrick was glad to see a tornado close up again. 
so long as it was on TV. Yes. Um, these people are very highly trained. They know what to look for and they know how to be careful around it. Don't go chasing storms yourself until you have a lot of education. Like, like you've gone to college and studied tornadoes. Please don't go <laughs> to find tornadoes on your own. But that was the story. And we learned about storm chasers, okay? One of the other things we've been learning about is how to pay attention to details. The main idea of this story is mostly about people trying to chase down a tornado and find information about the tornado or find video about the tornado. What are the details that are interesting about that? So we have two stories. This one you've all done before. This is a fiction story. What type of fiction? Well, if you want to know, it will tell you right here at the top of page 260. It's that type of fiction story. Who's telling the fiction story? Is it going to be the first person? I ran down into the basement and I chased after the tornado. We had to hide because we were so scared. Or were they talking about somebody else doing that? Patrick got bored and Joel asked if they were going to be safe. What do Joel and Patrick's parents do for work? We've answered this. You can answer that on your own. This job includes if you need to go into the video and watch it again, or if you want to look on page 260, I think it's on page 261, 262, and 263, they will tell you what the job includes. What do you have to do in this job? Write down three things. What is an anemometer? I believe that's on page 260, okay? This right here, what is one word you could use to describe Patrick? Is he brave or is he afraid? Is he um, uh, really careful and cautious or does he take a lot of risks? And what happened in the story to make you think that? And finally, information that I noticed. You tell me if it's a part of the main idea. I'm not gonna help you with this one this week. You can pick something from one of these pages we read today. Just pick any sentence. You could pick this one. Let's look for cover, said dad as he started to break. Does that have to do with the main idea or was it supporting detail? All right, uh, these are your two assignments for today. When you're done with that, go on and finish the rest of your literacy lesson, okay? Have a good day.